Oh no! <laughs> Oh, I missed it. There we go. Beauty. Love bream fishing. I literally just cast it out. It barely hit the bottom and we're into a fish. Good morning. Welcome back to Frugal Outdoors with myself, Dylan. And it's a match morning. Uh, so it's super early start today. Uh, I was up at quarter, quarter to five uh, and our comp starts at half past six. So we're all called out. Everyone's all setting up. Haven't got long left to get some bait on a rig because we start in literally about five minutes. Uh, fishing at Fort Victoria, target species is a bream. It's not as warm as we thought, but it is looking like it's gonna be pretty good condition. So fingers crossed, we can get something. I'll go quickly go through some bait that I've got. It's a one rod comp, which is nice and easy. A lot less faffing about, but let's get on it, shall we? Two up, one down, just with a little size. There we go, little size, two Chinoo hooks with a bunch of glowy beads on the top, bunch of glowy beads on the middle, and a bunch of glowy beads on the bottom. But the bottom hook is a size 2 ocean, so it gives me the opportunity that I can fish a bigger bait on the bottom, maybe a piece of crab, see if there's a hound out there. But predominantly, I am going to be fishing for a bream. So we've got some lovely Kraken sea baits there, the C6, lovely quality squid. I've also got some razors, which I haven't used all year. I just thought I'd get some just for this comp, to be honest. I've got the cuttle that I mentioned the other day, which is the cuttle that I actually caught myself, which I fluked. I've got some rag in here, only five pounds worth of rag. And I've got three spider crabs, which I picked up yesterday. So everything at the minute is out defrosting. But let's start off, just whack some squid out there. We'll get one of these razors out as well, just so that it's defrosting a little bit more. Oh, they're huge. Get that back at the box. Let's say I've got three, three ice packs in here today, so we should be able to keep everything pretty cold. We'll faff around with a rag in a minute. But for the meantime, let's get a lead. I'm going to start off fishing with a seven ounce gripper. And let's get some squid on. So all I'm doing is I'm literally just cutting this into little strips. I say little strips, they're not that little. It's full length of the tube, literally about a centimetre, 10 mil wide. So we'll put that on. So I'm just going to, like I say, put a piece of that on the top. And all I'm doing is I'm just literally threading that on. Do like these squid. Used to like the calamari, but the calamari seem a little bit harder to get hold of at the moment. Oh, it's cold. There we go, and that is it. Just flapping around like that. There we are, we're starting. But I am not ready, because I've been faffing around. Chuck this one on as well. So last time I didn't do too bad here at all. Had quite a few bream. Conditions look great for them. I'd say that tide is definitely running. It's just turned as we were getting ready. So definitely some movement out there. And I don't imagine it'll be too long before somebody's hollering that they've got a bream. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna stick the squid head on that bottom hook just for a minute. Let's get, so we can, just so we can get this out really. Put a bit of binding on this. Not gonna bind the other ones on. That'll do. And there we have it. First bait going out with extra bit of grass and everything. Right, let's get this one out. We're going to cast up tide. The tide's raging left to right at the moment, but let's see if we can hold bottom with a seven. Should be okay. Belt it over that way. There we go, and I've hit the bottom. Yes, mate, seven's holding well. 
holding all right. And here we are, we're fishing. So I'm fishing with Bray today. I'll show you in a sec. I am fishing with Bray today with just a short rubbing leader because if I do get snagged up, it is really snaggy here. I want the best opportunity that I can pull stuff free. Um, but if it does break, it's going to break on the knot, which means I've only got like a five foot rubbing leader out there. Rather than fishing with my mono, at least then I'm not leaving five, six meters of, of heavy gauge line out there. But let's see how we get on. Let's get another rig baited. Yeah, man, buzzing for it. Hopefully we'll get something. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I missed it. Oh, weed. Missed it. Just totally missed it. Oh, it's a banging bite that was. Oh, mate, that's annoying. Hate that on the first chuck. <laughs> Heart's pounding. I think that might have been my own mistake there. <laughs> right, let's try and uh, get this back out. Just missed a bite. Missed a really nice bite, but like I say, I am on braid, so it does look a little bit better than it probably was. But let's get this out again. Yeah, mate, well done. Leave that line. Wait for it to hit the bottom. There we go, we're on the bottom. Right, it's going way this one for Ben. But the bream are there, which is a great sign. There we go, so Ben's landed one and he literally rods out there for five minutes. So they're definitely there. I had a really nice bite, totally fluffed it. But hopefully we'll get another bite in a minute. Be nice if we can get a few, wouldn't it? Like I was saying before, last year, I did really quite well on the bream here, so, and I'm basically fishing in exactly the same spot. So we'll see. But to be honest, all we need is one fish. One fish, and that will do us. Oh, there we go. As soon as it hit the bottom. What's going on here? Oh, there we go. Got it that time, mate. Yeah, got it. Just got to keep it up over the top of this ledge. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? No. That's a better one. There we go. Beauty. Love bream fishing. I literally just cast it out. It barely hit the bottom and we're into a fish. So I'm going to get this verified now with, uh, with Ben. I'll get, do it on mine. Do you want me to do it on mine or do it on yours? You sure? Okay. There we go. We have hit target. Yes. Ah, well, there we are. Awesome. Right. Uh, with our comps, we can't recast until the fish is either returned or it's in the cool box. And in this case, obviously, because we're bream fishing, it's in the cool box. So now I can uh, sort this out. I've been having a few little mares, to be honest. I've snagged up once already, lost the rig. But I'm just going to try some of this cut all now because it's nice and tough. 
I can just sort of hook the end and let a load of it just dangle down. But yeah, that one, believe it or not, I've got a size, the, the two O chenou on the bottom that I was saying about was actually on that. Because I just put a bigger bit of squid on the bottom. But let's chuck this out, see how we get on. Let's say, never really fished with cuttle before. In fact, that was on a squid head, mate, that was. Yeah, let's chuck that out. Let's see how we get on. Baits are probably a little bit on the large side, to be honest, but I'm in a bit of a rush. <laughs> Wasn't out mega far, to be honest, either, so. There we go, we're on the bottom. Let's see what happens. Yeah, see if we can get another one. Now we've got a bream, I'll, uh, I'd like to get another couple, but I have got this crab, so I am gonna, now we've got one fish out. Let's try and get in contact with my lead again. Just leave like that. Uh, I'm gonna fish with a slightly different rig. I maybe put out a, uh, maybe put out a bit of crab or something. There we go, get another bite straight away. Relatively big, big baits on there this time, so I'm gonna leave it a bit longer. While we're doing that, I'm gonna prepare a crab. Oh, it's still going. I think that might be on now. Let's have a look. I think we got it. Just got to get it up over this bloody ledge. Keep it high. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, that's a nice one as well. <laughs> He's found a bream. He's found a bream. There we go, very similar size to the last one. The last one was one pound, one and a half. Let's check this one out, maybe a tiny bit bigger. Whoa. There we are, one pound two, that one. And that was on the cuttle, which is nice, I'd say, especially because it's, Cuttle that I've actually caught myself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-thread that bit of bait back on there. Because the beauty with the cuttlefish is it's much tougher. So it's when it's on, it's on. But like I say, they're big baits. I am gonna trim that one down a little bit. It looks too big to me. So there we are. We've got a couple of fish. Brilliant. What's the time? 10 past seven, 40 minutes we've been fishing for. We've got two bream, happy, happy days. Let's try and get one more bream and then we'll stick another different bait out, I think. Feather that down a little bit. There we go. Just hit the bottom now. It's really deep out here. But as you see, you've got to really crank it. Like so I've lost a rig on that. Didn't even have a fish on it. I was just reeling. I thought I was reeling in pretty hard, but I still got stuck up on that ledge. And unfortunately, snapped off. But I must admit, I'm struggling to stay in contact with the lead out there at the moment. It's just swirling around so much to get a load of turbulence as it comes around the corner. So they're getting the full force of the tide over on the left-hand side there at the moment. Whereas where Ben and I are fishing, oh, Ben's just had a lovely bite as I looked over. Uh, we're getting the turbulent water 
Yeah, he's in. Maybe. But yeah, let's get a, uh, a crab bait ready, I think. We'll start alternating, see if we can't pull out a bigger fish. There we go, look at that. Beautiful, lovely, big sack of scent, essentially. But that's huge bait. So obviously we'll be cutting that. I'll probably get four out of that. Right, just getting a bite as well at the same time at the minute. But I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do with this, this crab. So I'm gonna cut it straight down the middle. Gives us a really big bait. And I certainly don't need to be fishing with it with that big. And then I'm gonna cut that into half as well. So I'm gonna get four baits out of that big crab. I'll stick it on my tool. And we'll bind it all together. Cause like I say, basically it's a big sack in the middle, which has got all of the, all of the scent really. I'm still getting bites, but I think it's a very small bream. And the baits are kind of a bit big, to be honest. I mean, you can see this, this is, this is a quarter of a crab and it's still quite a decent bait, but may as well see if there's a hound out there, haven't we? So there we go. Just bound all that together, dripping everywhere. I've got an up and over with a 3.0 wide mouth hook and it's got a 3-0 semicircle hook on it. So if there is, does happen to be a hound out there, should, should get nailed on that. And there we are, so that's all bound up. Now all I'm gonna do is just put my circle hook, or my semicircle hook, sorry, in the top, and there we are. Let's get that one out as well. Been getting a few bites on this one, like I was saying. So I'm going to bring it in, see what's going on there and switch it over for a big bait. Stick that out there for 20 minutes. See what happens. Oh, it's got me again. <laughs> joking. Oh, I thought I had it. Oh, there we go. So what's supposed to happen last time? Just supposed to break a hook snood off. There we go, we got that one back. So the idea with my hook snooze, everything I've got is 55 pound braid. It was 60 pound leader, 60 pound main body, and only uh, 30 pound snooze in the sense that hopefully that if we got into a snag, then my hook snood would break and I'd get the rest of the gear back. But that's not been the case. We got snagged up, but Looks like we actually got everything back. It was just my uh, my crimp that slid down, so that's not too bad. I can live with that. But you can see there, it's reeling like absolute mad, and you still get hooked into it. I have got lifters, so I might put them on in a minute, but I didn't want to use them while the tide was so fierce, to be honest. So let's do that. Let's chuck a big crab out. Let's go. So now all I'm going to do is alternate basically between a heavy rig, you know, a big bait and some smaller baits. And hopefully we can pick up a fish over three pound. If we get fish over three pound, we get extra points. We've already got the five bonus points for hitting target species. So now it's just about trying to get some weight. Getting bites on that bait already, that big bait. But it's got to be, it's got to be bream attacking it. It's got to be a load of bream out there. I don't think that tide knows what it's, what it's doing at the moment, does it? Oh, hello. Mate, got something. Yeah. Got to be bream again, though. 
Just took line. Ooh. I just. Well, we've got something a bit better than a bream this time. Don't think it's a hound. I don't know what that is. Oh, I think this has come off. Nope. Yeah, it's hound. Yeah, mate. Oh, there we go. Well, that worked. It's not over three pound, no? But it's definitely a hound. Hello, mate. Lovely little fish. So always nice to see a little hound, especially in a comp. Uh, absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. It's probably only about a pound and a half, maybe two pound, but we'll find out anyway, because it will be, be going in the book. Five pound eight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. So nice little hound, just over, uh, just over two pound really, just under two and a half pound, two pound four and a half, I think it was. So yeah, only a little pup, but it's another one to put on the board. It's now about bulking some weight. So we can keep like that and we'll do very well indeed, but it'd be nice to get one over three pounds. It's always the thing is just try and get a three pounder. But that bait was in the water for maybe, I don't know, three minutes, four minutes, if that. Still trying to, trying to bait up my other rigs. So I'm a little bit behind. But let's chuck the three hook out again. See if we can't get another bream. I do like this comp. This is the one that we do tend to lose a bit more gear on because it is just so snaggy out there. But obviously the more water that comes in, the easier it is to get it up over that ledge. Right, so I have got a lifter on there now because that tide's eased up a bit. So that first push of the tide is always really strong. But now I should be able to get away with the lifter. It's not going to get caught up in the tide. And hopefully it should find me a bit easier to get up over this ledge. That is hot. Let's have a look. There we go. I think we got it. Yeah. Whew. Tiring get trying to reel in. And that's what I mean with the cuttlefish, it's so tough. Still got all of the bait on there. Couple a couple of them a little bit shorter than they were when they went out. But if there's crab activity, it certainly makes it a bit harder for them to get off. And there we go. As you can see, it's all clipped up. It's a nice short rig. It's under two foot when it's clipped up. So it's quite aerodynamic and sitting directly behind that lead. And hopefully we can get another hound. A bit bigger, that'd be nice. Give this a belt. Ah, it's come undone. But that's out there. Well, it definitely seems like it's quietened up our end a little bit at the minute. The chaps down there are almost getting a bream of chuck at the moment. Lyndon's had a double shot as well, which is really nice to see. Yeah, a little bit quiet for bites for us here, but just focusing, focusing on the uh, flappers again at the moment. 
put the uh, put the bigger bait away, and we'll see if we can't winkle out another bream or two. And like I say, I can still put a bigger bait on the bottom hook anyway, so it still gives me the ability to catch something a bit bigger. I can still put a crab bait on the bottom, albeit a bit smaller, but it will still give me the opportunity that I can still catch a hound or a bass or anything else that might take it for that matter. But yeah, loving it. Sun is shining, we're catching fish. Yeah, we're all trying to figure out what flag that is. It looks like a Greek flag from here. But as you can see, pretty big vessel, pretty cool. Old, mind you. Certainly not the most modern uh, naval ship we've ever seen. Right, come on, let's get another fish. Oh, that was a better bite. That was a much better bite. Go on, go again. It's a nice bite. Yeah. We've only got tiny bits of bait on there. Why are you saying that? It lo always looks like a good bite with braid, doesn't it? If it goes again, we'll reel it in. I've got another one baited up, ready to go, so. But that was a nice bite. Oh, did I just miss that? Yeah, there we go. We got up one here, come on. Feel a bit of something going down my line. Don't know if I'm gonna get this back. I don't think we've got a fish on. Oh, I just got in there. That snag, mate. It's a killer, isn't it? Oh, there we go. We've got it out. I might have yours. I might have your lead here, because this has just gone heavy. <laughs> oh, no, a bit of weed. Thought I had your picked up your lead. Oh, oh, I might have it, actually. Oh, I think I've got my other rig. Got my other rig back. Yeah, mate. Got my other one back. Oh, there we go. There we are, that's a brain bite. Keep getting the bites, I'm just not hooking them up at the moment. So it could be that there's some really small ones out there. It could just be that I'm not leaving it long enough, but right, so I've had a few bites and I've missed them. So I'm going to leave that one a little bit longer and wait till it's properly rattling in the rod rest, I think. And then we know. Then we know. I just baited that one up again. I've got two tiny bits, just bits of cuttlefish and then a tiny little bit of crab on the bottom. And I might do away with one of these uh, scratching rigs in a minute and start fishing with something else, because... Well, we're not getting any fish, really, so... Oh, crikey, that was a bite. How is that not on? Oh, 
I don't think that's on. A hell of a bite. Oh, it is on. That's a lovely bite. Oh! <laughs> Just came off. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn and blast. Yeah. Just came off. Oh, at least we're getting a few bites again. Got them ready to go straight away. Let's get this one straight out. Because they're still out there, so. How close to yours is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. We're locked in anyway. Ah, oh, gutted. Never mind. Literally dropped off right down there and then watched it scoot off in the water because the water's pretty clear. But I think it's all right. Actually, I'm, mine has gone a bit to the left now. So I don't think I'm over you. Ah, well, we're getting into a few fish, I know, which is nice, isn't it? Just dropped one, so I know they're still feeding and they're still out there. The tide's ripping a little bit, right to left. Don't think I've got any drag. Yeah, I have. So we're good. We're all set. Got another two up, one down with a pop-up bead, baited completely with cuttlefish. And uh, I'm going to have a little change up in a little bit, I think. So I've got, I haven't put any squid out there for ages. I've only used a couple of rag. I've still got some rag, so I want to use that up really. I'd like to try and get another, another fish. At least another one would be nice. But we'll see, we'll keep tucking them out. And that's all we can do anyway, isn't it? In exactly the same boat as everyone. If the bait's in the water, we've got a chance. So let's continue to do that. There we go. Let's try for something bigger on that crab, shall we? Give it a whack, see what happens. All right, it's definitely moving right to left now, so try and keep this one a little bit to the right. Oh, that's just landed basically right in front of Ben, so with any luck it will go to the left with the tide. <laughs> yeah, that's really swung around quite nicely now. Keep getting in this snag down here. I've probably lost three rigs to it, which is a little frustrating, but I'm going to go with just a two hook this time. One up, one down. One less hook to get snagged up on. I'll put a lead lift on, see if that will help. It's only when I'm reeling in without a fish on that I'm getting snagged, to be honest. So hopefully we'll get, get the rest of them back. And it's always when it's slightly to my left as well, which is when it's snagging also. So see how we get on. Gonna to revert to a bit of squid. In fact, I'm gonna to revert to some rag tipped with squid. Let's do that. There we go. Slight change of tactic. Not gonna put the crab out. 
going to put a lovely big ragworm sausage bait out there on a pulley. Hopefully I can get it up over this ledge. So because I'm losing, losing a few rigs, which is quite frustrating. Right, let's try this rag. Yeah, mate, it went right over us. Hound for sure, I thought. Yeah, I'm gonna get one out in a minute. You'd think there'd be a few out there, wouldn't you? It's the season for them, you know, they're there. And there we are. Nice big rag sausage bait out there. Hopefully, we'll pick something up. Bender's had a really nice big bite on a, on a crab bait, so I'm thinking rag sausage, that could pick up a hound, could pick up a stingray, could pick up anything, to be honest. Anything will eat rag, so let's get this two-up flapper baited again. And we're just going to alternate between those two rigs and hopefully we can uh, winkle out another fish. Haven't had one for a little while, it's been quite slow now. There's a few fish coming out but not in huge numbers. We've only got a couple of hours left so it'd be nice to try and get another one if I can. Try and get, get myself further up the table. Well, coming into the last hour and a half and I don't think I've had a fish for probably about two and a half hours. Uh, I've had some bites, I've dropped a couple as well, which is a bit frustrating. And like I say, I'm losing quite a few rigs. The tide is ripping at the moment, um, but yet the buoy is pretty much bolt upright, which is quite unusual really. Um, but yeah, the tide is still pretty fierce. There's a little bit of weed out there, but there's no excuses. I mean, a few people are getting a few fish, so they are out there. It's just trying to get one. So I'm fishing with that big rag sausage at the moment and I've got a two hook flapper with just tiny strips of squid ready to go out but I'm going to still fish hard for the last half hour and a half and um, yeah with any luck we can get another fish. I've got a few in there and a couple of the guys have been kind enough to let me have theirs as well so we're definitely having a barbecue tonight but yeah it'd be nice just to get one more for me just to get on the board a little bit more weight get up the table a bit but yeah we'll see how we get on anyway. Yeah, loads of weed. Look at the way the, the way the water's just suddenly got really turbulent. It's really kicking off in here now. I think that tide's turned a little bit earlier than we all thought it was going to. I could barely keep that out there for five minutes, if that. We'll try it again, but even closer again, but I really don't think this is fishable at the minute, which is a little frustrating. I think I'm doing all right on the leaderboard at the minute for today in a way. I think I've got heaviest fish with that smooth hound. But like I said, there's still a bit of time if you can fish it. But at the minute, it's pretty unfishable. I think I might just drop one in close with a crab bait. I've got some crab, that's what Ben's doing. He's going to be doing some freelining. I haven't got the gear to do the freelining, but... I've got a little ball weight on there. I might be able to put that on, on a rig. I don't know what I've got.
Right, I'm gonna have one last go with this rig, purely because it's baited. And uh, you never know, might get lucky. Loads of people have packed up already. But we'll chuck it out there. I'll wait till Ben is freelining, so I'll wait till his bait comes across. And then I'll just flick this one out really, really close. Where is it? <laughs> no, go on, I'll wait for you to swing round, mate. No, I'm just gonna, it, I, mate, it's still moving with a six ounce gripper at 30 feet anyway. Chuck it there. There we go. I think that could be my last chuck. Even that has already swung round to my left. You can see it bouncing. That's the, uh, the weed on it. Weed and the tide together, making it very, very hard to fish. So I think Bring this one in and pack it up. See you later. See you later. All right, we're all done. Most of the chaps have already gone, but there's a few just packing up and just finishing off. Didn't do too bad in the end. I think, I think I might have just snuck it. So I'm going to do the same. I'll put the results all up here. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. A couple of bream and a smooth hound. It was all pretty much in the first two hours and then I had another one dropped it in close but yeah I hope you enjoyed this one like I say we haven't got a, I haven't got a match now for a little while but I'm going to get out next week obviously so I'll still be putting up another video but until then please take care stay safe and maybe see you out there cheers